Well, hello there, 1P, and welcome to your topic on unit rates. A goal today? I know what a unit rate is, and I can solve problems with it. So we're going to talk about a unit rate. Unit rate is a pretty straightforward concept. If you have a look, a unit rate is a comparison between two things where the second quantity being compared is one. So kilometers per one hour of driving, cost per one milliliter of pop, goals per one game. Uh, usually we don't put the word one in there, so when we're talking about it we would say um, kilometers per hour. This doesn't want to write as fast as I do, so we'll just let it. Or um, cost per milliliter, we would say cost per milliliter instead of per one milliliter. Let's see how long it takes for that to come up. Come on, we're waiting. Where are you now? There it goes. Woohoo. Cost per milliliter. Okay, and the next one, goals per game, we would say goals per game. Whoop. Uh oh, now I don't know where that's going to go. <laughs> okay, sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Let's take a look. Goals per game. There, it's coming up a little faster. Goals per game. Okay, now that took way too long. I think this is going to write a little bit better from here on down. A unit rate can be written in three different ways. It can be written using words, which we did above. And we would say, in this case, 90 kilometers per hour. Or we can use numbers, symbols, and words. So, in this case, oh, and it's not coming up. Come on, where are you? Oh, this is not going well. So there it is, 90 kilometers per hour. And then the next one, using numbers and symbols, 90 kilometers with the slash in it that means per. So since speed is one of the most common unit rates, we're going to take a moment to examine what is talked about for speed. So let's say it takes 15 minutes to drive 20 kilometers. There are actually more than one unit rate I can get out of this little bit of information. Uh, but here's the deal. It takes 15 minutes to drive 20 kilometers. That's what it has as it's written there. Now, if I did this, if I do this division, because to get the denominator to be 1, all I need to do is take the top and divide it by the bottom. So if I take my calculator and I take the top, 15, and I divide it by the bottom, I get 20. And I get 0.75. So 0 0.75. But what does that 0 0.75 mean in this case? Well, the top is minutes, so we write minutes, and the bottom is kilometers, so we write per kilometer. So let's take a look. 0.75 minutes per kilometer. That means that you're going, um, that it takes 0.75 minutes, so not even a full minute, to go one kilometer if you're driving that way. So what's the other unit rate we could get out of this? Well, we could flip it over. If I did 20 minute, or 20 kilometers over 15 minutes, now I take my calculator and I do 20 divided by 15. And I get 1.3, approximately 1.3, so I'm going to put the dot there for approximately, 1.3, and we take the top unit, which is kilometers, and per the bottom unit, which is minute. So kilometers per minute. So we'd go 1.3 kilometers in one minute. Now these are two very different unit rates. We've got um, 0.75 kilometers per minute, or 1.3, or minutes per kilometer, or 1.3 kilometers per minute. Now you have to be very, very careful of which unit rate you are actually getting. Now neither one of these are ones that uh, that we really would use, we generally go kilometers per hour, and you can use um, use ratios to figure that one out. If I've got 20 kilometers per 15 minutes, and I want to figure out how long it takes to go for one hour, and one hour is 60 minutes, 
then I could figure out this ratio. I have to times by 4, and so I would have to times this by 4. So that would be 80 kilometers per 60 minutes, or 60 minutes is an hour, so 80 kilometers per hour is actually another unit rate um, because it's per one hour. We just changed the unit. So we've got a few different things going on here. So we're going to take a minute uh, to look at a couple different unit rates. So this says find the unit rate in each situation. Six dollars for 12 cans of pop. Now I told you that each um, each situation will have two different unit rates depending on what you put on the top and what you put on the bottom. Now when I write it out like this, usually whatever number comes first I'm going to put on top and whatever number comes second I'm going to put on the bottom. So here it's six dollars for 12 cans. So when I do 6 divided by 12 I get 0 0.5 and that's going to be 0 0.5 dollars per can because the dollars is on top so the dollars has to be on this side and 12 cans is on the bottom so can has to be in the bottom. So 0 0.5 dollars per can or 50 cents for each can of pop is what this unit rate actually means. 650 kilometers in seven hours. So I write 650 kilometers on the top and on the bottom I have my seven hours. And then I take the top and I divide it by the bottom. Now remember that's exactly the way you're going to punch it in. You're going to punch in the 650 divided by seven which is 92.85 or we're going to round it to 93. So that's approximately 93. Now which way do our units go? Whatever's on the top comes first, so kilometers, and then per is the line in the middle, and then seven hours was on the bottom, so it's kilometers per hour. Now if we wanted to do it the other way around, we could now usually that's not what I'm going to ask, but I want you to, to understand that there are two different unit rates and you have to be careful. If we have 12 cans per six dollars, we could divide that and what I actually get in this case is 12, is 12 divided by six is two and cans is on top so it's listed first per dollar. So what that means is the number of cans I can get for one, remember the second one represents one, for one dollar. So I get two cans for one dollar or 50 cents per can. Those are both unit rates um, and depending on what you're using them for you might want to want one over the other. And we can do the same thing here if I have seven hours on top and 650 kilometers on the bottom, we can do that division. It's not going to be pleasant. 7 divided by 650. Remember, top divided by the bottom. Uh, 0 0.01. That's what that was, wasn't it? 0 0.01. And this is going to be hours per kilometer. Now this one's not particularly useful. It tells us that 0 0.01 hours to go one kilometer, um, which isn't very much time at all to go one kilometer. Okay, now let's see how we can use unit rate to solve a problem. At Walmart you can buy a case of 12 cans of Coke for $6.99 or a case of 24 cans for $14.88. Calculate the unit rate for each case. Which is the better deal? So when we're talking about this, we usually want to know the cost for one can. We don't usually want to know how many cans I can buy for a dollar, which is the other way we would um, write them down. So I'm going to put uh, the 12 pack. I'm going to find it first. And it said, remember, we want uh, how many dollars per can. So I put dollars on top. $6.99 dollars on top per the number of cans which is a 12 pack so 12 cans and then I divide $6.99 remember top divided by the bottom $6.99 divided by 12 so that's 0.5825 0 0.5825 and that's dollars 
and we can put that here if we want, dollars per can. Usually we would put it over here, but we can put it there too, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so it costs about 58 cents per can if you buy the 12 pack. Uh, now how about the 24 pack? And I'm writing these little things over to the side just so that I keep straight what I'm actually figuring out. And again, we want dollars per can, how much for one can. So I'm going to put the dollars on top, 1488 over 24 cans. So let's actually do that. 1488 divided by 24 is 0 .62, $0 0.62 per can. So it looks like these cans are more expensive. We'd be better to buy the smaller pack than we would the larger pack. So I'm going to say this is the better deal. Now if we had worked this out the other way around, if I had divided the other way around, let's see, and I'm going to do this in blue so we can tell the difference. If I had divided the other way around and I did 12 cans over $6.99, we'll go 12 divided by 6.99, whoops, 12 divided by 6.99 is 1.71 and this is going to be cans per dollar and if I take the 24 pack and I take the 24 cans divided by 1488 let's pull that out 24 divided by 1488 is 1.61 cans per dollar. Now let's see if we can figure out the better deal. This one up here we could see that this was the cheaper can. We have 0.58 dollars per one can. Now down here we got to be careful. This tells me that I can get 1.7 cans for a dollar and this one I get 1.6 cans for a dollar. So when we're dividing it this way, we actually want the bigger number to figure out what the better deal is because we want more money for our one or more things for our one dollar. So this represents the better deal. The same as it did before, it's the same can, but up here we were looking for the smallest number and here we're looking for the bigger number because we want more for our money and up here we want less money for one can. So just be careful when you're di dividing that you actually think about what that number represents when you're doing it. And that's it for this lesson.